Hi everyone, it's Claire from Soft Artisans. Welcome to the next episode of the Novice End User's Guide to SharePoint video series. Um, today we are going to look at something I think the um, more dictatorial of you will really relish, uh, which is creating task lists in SharePoint. Um, and they can be personal task lists or task lists that apply to people in your team or project group. Um, so today, let's let's check it out. To start, we're just going to create a dedicated site. Although you can also obviously add task lists to existing sites. Um, let's see. So let's so let's say we are an event planning company and holiday events because it might snow tonight, so which is terrifying because it's October, but um, so the holidays are upon us nearly. Um, okay, holidays and blank, blank site, create. Okay, so the task list, like you might guess from its second word, is a type of list. We're going to create it. Bom, bom. Um, getting ready. All right, so these are the default fields. Um, you'll have in this list and to add a task let's say um, buy tree and priority one because buying a tree is very important um, have I started it yet uh, let's say I've just started you know scouting out the local tree farms and if this were a group site, I can I could assign it to someone that was in anyone in the group. Um, or although you could configure permissions so that you know I couldn't assign things to my supervisor. Um, but in this case, it's a group of one, so assign it to myself. And I'm going to give myself a few days to get this done. Okay. Great. So now, what also you can do, say there's, a, there's another thing. I mean, you probably have hundreds of things to do before the holidays, uh, which is why you got to start early. The tree might be dead by Christmas, but it's okay. So, let's say trim tree. Now you can't trim a tree before you've bought it. Priority is a little less. Status obviously not started and also assigned to me. Um, and for that I'm going to give myself okay save. So as you can see this has to be complete um, before I can start trimming the tree and because I set due dates SharePoint's gonna send me uh, a reminder through Outlook uh, that I need to get on that buying a tree order of business immediately um, so yeah that is um, it's about it it's a fairly simple process um, I maybe in the next episode I'll show you how or webisode I guess I'll show you how to attach a workflow to a task list so that let's say when I finish trimming the tree um, one of my coworkers gets a notification that he or she needs to go you know buy a gingerbread house you know um, or something less Christmassy I don't know um, but yeah that that is all I have for you today and I will see you next week bye guys <laughs>